Okay, uh, that was, I just finished uh, recording episode 93 of the podcast. Now let's chat. Oh, okay, I gotta go get a visual aid. Okay, this is, there's like standy uppy things here, but this is uh, my son's science fair project. Okay, so, okay. Why am I showing you my son's science fair project? Well, I'm gonna get to that, but um, I just wanna tell you that I, I did ask his permission. I went upstairs just now and I was like, hey, can I use your science fair board for my video? I won't show close-ups. Uh, it's on electricity, LEDs versus incandescent. I said, can I use it for my video? And he says, yeah, he's in the middle of a Dungeons and Dragons game. Again, <sighs> anyways, as I'm walking out the door, he goes, oh, uh, I will let you do that if you pay me $250. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that adorable? Here's my science experiment, and I, I really am on the fence about this, and I have one person to blame uh, for this, and it's never gonna be me, obviously, but it's Doug Hay, uh, my buddy of Rock Creek Runner, no meat athlete uh, fame, and he and I were both coincidentally watching this video by this filmmaker named Billy's, Billy Yang, who I really, he's amazing. Uh, actually, like in a good use of the word amazing. Billy Yang did this video where he is gonna do a challenge by another guy named David Goggins. Now, I've been following David Goggins for years. If you don't know who David Goggins is, uh, I can describe him in one word, nutty nut nut. But, uh, you know, go check him out. He's a ultra runner, Navy SEAL, ranger, done all these crazy things. I don't agree with everything he says. Certainly don't agree on the diet front, but he has this challenge that he does and Billy Yang is gonna do it starting tonight. And it is called four by four by 48, which is um, every four hours you run four miles or as Goggins says, 30 to 45, 30 minutes to an hour's worth of exercise every four hours for 48 hours, okay? So I'm gonna start this thing tonight at 8 p.m. I'm gonna, on average, run four miles, but I might do rowing or biking. Well, I don't even know what, but anyway, at least 45 minutes of exercise every four hours for the next 48 hours, starting at eight. So eight o'clock, midnight, 4 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, the following, so on and so forth, 48 hours till, so it's Thursday, 8, 8 p.m. tonight till 8 p.m. Saturday. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen. And here's the bigger question. Here's actually the bigger question. Why am I doing this? Here's why. I have no idea. I really don't know. And here's my hypothesis of this experiment. That's why I showed you the science, the science fair experiment, because this is an experiment. My son has a hypothesis. My daughter has a hypothesis for her science experiment. I don't have a hypothesis. I don't know what's gonna, I don't even know what I think is gonna happen. I don't even know why I'm doing this. My hypothesis, if I have one, is that I will find out why I'm doing this after I do it. I, I will have the reason for doing this after I finish. I could not finish. Uh, I could finish. I don't know, obviously. And so I also don't know why. I don't know why. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna document it. I'll talk to you on the other end of this thing again. Uh, Doug Hay was supposed to do it with me, but apparently he cares about his family. I don't know, some nonsense. I don't wanna get into that whole bag. Here we go. 8 p.m. Thursday, first run of the project. Workout number one, done. Back here at midnight. Midnight. Round two. 4 a.m the hardest of the AMs, and I may not have enough t-shirts for this freaking project. Workout three done. 8 a.m. Friday morning. Rough night. Now it's done. It's, uh, okay, Friday. Next stop, noon. Noon, Friday. Workout number five. Workout five done. 4 p.m. on Saturday, I just took a little bit of a nap, and uh, the 8 a.m. and the noon one today were like kind of okay. I'm running, taking it really easy, but uh, now I'm starting to, whew, and I got a one more night ahead of me, so this is, a, this is a big one. Apparently my dog was upset about it too. 4 p.m. one done. Next, 8, midnight, 4 a.m. 8 p.m. Friday, I've, I'm at the official halfway mark. I've been doing some extra Wim Hof breaths. Uh, watch old videos on that front, but that's keeping me kind of energized. About 20 minutes ago, I was like, good night. And then I did a little bit of breathing and I got a little bit of, a little kick in the pants. So that's a good sign. I am not looking forward to tonight, but you know, so it goes. It's midnight in the garden of why am I doing this? Four more to go. <sighs> 
4 a.m. Feels exactly like 4 a.m. Done. Back to bed. 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Three more to go and done. This is the second round of this t-shirt. Ooh. 40 miles down. Eight miles to go. Over two runs. Noon, four. Two more to go. The 8 a.m. run was uh, rough and I kind of crashed afterwards. Um, but a four banana shake with water and then followed by a 40 minute nap and then a whole wheat bagel. I am pleased to report that I am now back up to maybe 50%. Okay, one, one more to go. And uh, that was a big difference in a positive way. Uh, got actually better, so that's good. And now I'm gonna take another nap because of the light my daughter lent me and her eye mask to use to keep things dark for me, which is really helpful. Here it is right here. The final run, the final run. And done. Finished strong, glad it's over. Now, cut to, boom. I'll keep this recap short. I'm glad I did it. Probably won't do it again. Um, here's my feeling, as my coaching is primarily focused on the mundane, the sort of day-to-day -day rising, the day-to-day -day health with, I'm not really about the peak kind of challenges, I still think they're great. And I think there's value to putting yourself in intentionally to situations that frankly test your metal, kind of just remind you that you're alive and uh, kicking. And answer a question for for many people that we maybe either don't ask or don't want to think about, which is, am I still in this fight? These are the kinds of things we do, and, and I think it's worthwhile to do them, and I'm glad that I did them. So if I had to say the reason I did this probably was those things at the time that I thought to do it, it was just like, well, I'm, I'm sheltering in and I have a lot of time on my hands, so why the hell not? Definitely questioned that at four in the morning, the, the second night for sure, like hit that that moment of like, I am done, and not in a jokey, like, oh, am I done? Like, actually, this is stupid. You know, you, you get to that baseline level of, of just being over it and then finding yourself pushing through it. And I think there's some, some real value to hitting those kinds of situations now and then in our lives. Um, I did go ahead and, and stick to four miles a pop, so I did the full 48 miles. Toward the uh, the second night, for sure, that took me almost an hour because I was just you know just feeling it, so running a, a lot slower. So um, anyway, so that's what it was: four miles a pop, and uh, just did it. I'm, I'm glad I did. Glad I did. Recovering now and, and fine. No soreness. Just the it's the mental, you know. Just it's just a tough one. Getting some rest. All right. Good. Hope that was uh, helpful. I don't, what I don't know. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.